Oh, hey, we're back after yes. a week hiatus. Yes, after a little bit of a, a break there. We're back here at Spiral Mountain because, well, while, while it's time. It's time. It's, it's time? It's time to solve one of the greatest mysteries of gaming ever. It's time. Oh god, we're going to the we're going to the waterfall. Ah! Yes. I'm clawing at my face right now. Always, always <laughs> check behind the waterfall. Well, Probe. it's on the top of the waterfall though. So. Um. Yeah. Well, you. Yeah. It's on top. There was a one up behind there in the first game, and then I don't even think you can actually get behind there in this game because it's too far of a jump. Oh my god, it's a game pack, yo. Yeah, but then you do actually. Whoops. Then you do actually go behind behind the waterfall. God damn it. Double waterfall, that's how you know it's a really good secret. All the way. That looks like a Banjo Kazooie game pack. It, well, no, not really. I don't. My Banjo Kazooie game pack looks nothing like that. Oh, hey. Wait. Hey. Stop and swap two. That is a thing that has been introduced in the Xbox Live Arcade version of Banjo Tooie. Stop and swap two. So, in the N64 version, um, you would break open the game packs here in Spiral Mountain, and they would have the like the red egg and the blue egg from Banjo Kazooie. But in this game, they have a silver egg, a gold egg, and a bronze egg. Um, also, there is no footage of the bronze egg because it just didn't appear on any of my playthroughs and that may have been because I used it in conjunction with another game and then you can't get it again. Whoops. Good. Sorry, I'd forgotten all about that, but there is a bronze egg and a gold egg. But, so we got the gold egg though. Yep. Winner is the win winner. Winner is who is the winner? We'll never know because I stop and swap two doesn't doesn't have anything to connect to. It does not work with Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. <laughs> Which means that Rare has some kind of plan for another Banjo game somewhere down the line. May maybe. Stop doing this to me, Rare. Stop. I can't take <laughs> it. So they put stop and swap too to get eggs. And then what about the eggs that you got from the first one? Oh yeah, so I actually I have those in the game right now. I actually um went back and played through a good bulk of Banjo Kazooie again to get the stop and swap items for this game because oh God. yeah. If you don't actually own both Xbox Live Arcade versions of the game you won't be able to like do the stop and swap stuff. Banjo to me, so. Well, I mean, the good thing about Microsoft, I guess, is that they actually made stop and swap a reality. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a Microsoft, real big you let. Get this one. It's kind of a real big letdown, though. Also, we are oh. collecting some gingos that I have missed in the hub world. Oops. <laughs> well, that guy's good really job. big for some reason. I don't know why. He's huge. He's a big boss. Hmm. He wants you to know that he's been working out for a while. Let yeah. me look at those pecs. Hmm. That's a giant egg. That's a giant egg. We've been it's been behind us like every every video, it's been right there. And we're just now coming in. It's Heggy's it's Heggy's egg shed. And that's Heggy. Heggy the hen. Uh. Banjo assumes correctly. Something egg related happens. Clever bear. Fuck right off. Find special egg. So the special eggs are the oh, Banjo Kazooie stop, stop and swap and eggs. Swap. Here we go. So we got the first. The, some of these uh, in game stuff you can use um, in Banjo Tui, but. The rest of them are kind of disappointing. <laughs> this is the first time we've actually been able to like get all of the stop and swap swap eggs and open them all. 
because you could only get three in the N64 version. And some of them are really lame. <laughs> oh, man. It's a real letdown. Special like this Egg one! Awards. Gamer, Gamer pick. pick! Hooray! Ooh. Ooh. I like it! <laughs> Amazing! Because he was very perceptive. God damn it. I like it. So, you have to do this every time you go through the fucking animations, so, um... I just sped it up for every time you do it. Thank you, God. Yeah. This one is... Uh, Please be, let it be a theme. theme! Yes! And I had never actually got this before, which I didn't realize. And they say Principus in around all the boxes. Hey, look, there's one of those boxes now. Oh, it's gone. Oh. Please so, wait, yeah. Waltz, the theme installed. Yeah, installs. the theme's installed. And I was like, oh, okay then. I didn't realize I'd never got it before. I did like that. Like, at least they managed to fit us in around all the boxes. <laughs> there are so many boxes. Rare have plans for us yet. Like, maybe they do. Hopefully, after they're done with fucking sports games. No. Sorry, but no. I'm just waiting for like the Banjo Kazooie Connect mini game collection. Oh yeah, so the green egg gives you a cheat you can put in the code room for homing eggs. But that's that's cheating, so I don't I don't use that. But you unlocked it with stop and swap, so it's I no unlocked cheat. it. I can, Is I our can... unlocks cheats? We need to find this out. Can hmm. all unlocks be not cheats, but some cheats are unlocks? Is it like yams and sweet potatoes? What? <laughs> Is it? What? How did? Think of it. Let me explain. Briegel bash. Like no, please explain. You know how all yams are sweet potatoes, but not all sweet potatoes are yams. I. Yeah? Is it like how all cheats are unlocks, but not all unlocks are cheats? Oh, well... Let's well, yeah. have a discussion. Who thought Stop and Swap would come to this? Game of pictures and e Xbox Live themes. Thanks, Microsoft. Special Heggy Egg Award, Jinjo. Jinjo has multiplayer character. Fuck off. Who is Jinjo? <laughs> Who is Which... Jinjo? That's a philosophical question. What is Jinjo? What Jinjo? is... Who is? <laughs> this is great. How do you think I feel carrying them for 10 years? Fuck. <laughs> I really like the dialogue between Heggy and Banjo and Kazooie, but the actual rewards themselves are kind of... Oh, here, we, here, here it is. Very special Heggy Egg Award. This might be useful one day. Here we go again! Yes, yeah, this is for Stop and Swap 2. Ooh, Stop doing this to me, please. Please, I can't take it. So many promises and so many letdowns. Please. Rare, please, just stop. Oh, uh, well. Anyway, we come back to Waterfall Cavern. Because there is a door here in the Glitter Gulch Mine that we've never opened. What's behind that door, though? It goes to <clears throat> a area a lot later on in the game from the second world, and that's why I never just went and looked at it, because it's kind of a spoiler. Spoiler alert. Where are we? It goes to Hellfire Peaks. Oh my god. Icy side. The icy side. Do you remember side, when we looked through the window and we're like, hey, look, there's the ice key? <laughs> yeah. Oh. What's over here? Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> luckily, luckily, we have the ice key. We have the ice key for the ice lock. Oh god, what's inside? I'm, I'm on the end of my seat. 
Are you kidding me? Just a globo. No, it's a mega globo. The legendary mega globo. Well, not just any globo, it's the legendary mega globo. And we are going to put it to good use right now. <laughs> things are good. I'm things sorry. are going to get I, a little crazy. It, unless this makes you like a legendary creature or something, I'm done. Well, let's find out. I like how you can actually see Kazooie. Kazooie's model clipping through the fucking backpack yeah. and not actually being bound in the backpack. Well, at least better, still better than Banjo Kazooie, where she just stuck through the top and the top of the bag didn't actually open at all. Because oh. she was a last minute addition. Oh. Banjo was supposed to have a robot in his backpack. It's true. Calmer. What? Okay, nothing happened though. What? Oh god! Her face! Kazooie's our dragon. Her fucking face! She yeah, looks wait, hold on, what's she saying? She's saying something. I've not seen this before. I've not seen this line of dialogue before. Eh. Lo lost log? What? What? What is. Nuts. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> Nuts. And bolts. <laughs> Nuts. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Tui. This is not the penultimate video. I lied. What the fuck happened? What are you talking about? I have no clue what you're talking about. Or did I just go fucking crazy for a I don't few wait, I don't even What did what just happen? We're putting we're doing a jigsaw while, come on. Get it together. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, good. I'm yeah. I'm perfectly fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> so this is some kind of big, big cave. Mm -hmm. Put the pieces in for the, for the. I still have trouble with the jigsaw, even though I know how to do it now. Some now. of the pieces look like they should go in one place, but they don't. And I'm like, why? Why? Do, why? Do, why does the jigsaw disobey me? Why? Good question. Why does the jigsaw disobey every one of us? Also, by losing the music one single, speed. single fucking piece. Also, the music speeds up here for some reason, and I don't know why. Maybe it's a glitch. Or it a is bug. a glitch. Yeah. Oh my god, it is faster. You're right. Yeah. So where? Wait, what? There's a crack in the wall. Oh ho ho, what is this? <laughs> a bubble. It's a bubble. Jiggy Wiggy, you've outdone yourself. You just created a fucking bubble. Congrats. You truly are. The rest of it, yeah, was like destroying doors and the stuff and opening stuff. But this this one you you you, you made a bubble. You made a bubble. Good job. Fucking Christ. Dragon Kazooie's the best, by the way. Wait. Just so just so we're all clear, Dragon Kazooie is great. Oh my god, wait, so that all actually happened. Well, all not what, crazy. Oh what actually happened? We, Kazooie's okay. fucked up face, it looks like she's constantly trying to eat Banjo's ears. <laughs> Nuts and bolts! Here we it go! It all actually happened! Nice, nice you picture can see, down there. Yeah, you can see the entire of the 
of the Isla Hags is some kind of fucked up JPEG. Nice, nice artifact in there, bro. Mm. So there's Cloud Cuckoo Land. It's really, uh, tranquil. Yeah, lie. it's... I don't know, I'm really not sure what to make of it. Um, find some strange looking beans, also the spring step shoes. Is it edible? Are, are the beans edible? You'll never know. Um, I'm not really sure what to make of it. It kind of, to me, seems like... I like a lot of the stuff in the level, but also at the same time it kind of seems like this is all the leftover stuff that they had that they were making and then they just went like and let's all just make it like floating islands all over the place and call it Cloud Cuckoo Land. Yeah, but Dex, let's get physical. <laughs> physical. <laughs> Also, um, there's a Cloud Cuckoo Land in the Lego movie, and when they started saying it, I instantly thought of this game, and I was like, Christ, not even in my off time can I get away from Banjo Tui. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if you noticed, but we kind of had shoes with springs, that's kind of how... I, I guess cheating in the isn't in this guy's repertoire. No. He doesn't really understand. Next up is the sack race, though. Yeah. I'm excited for this. Yeah, we're gonna have to find the potato sack somewhere. I don't know where we're yeah, gonna find one of Yeah, but can you those. melt the jello back into a liquid? Hmm, no, unfortunately. <laughs> so we're just gonna build drill on all these suspicious looking patches of the ground because there's some stuff that we need. And it's always like. Excuse me, what was that? What was what? What was that what? thing to the left? Uh, a bee, I think? Oh god, they're back. Oh yeah, the zombies are back. Um, the patches of ground you can build through all the stuff in them, like, moves around every time you come back on different, uh, save files. It always, like, because the springy step shoes were sometimes, like, right in front of me, sometimes they were slightly to the left, and on that time they were slightly to the right, so... Different. Okay, I'm gonna ask a quick question here. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah? Not gonna say anything about those guys popping up. What? Oh yeah, they're really annoying. They're popping up and they're they're made of paper apparently. Yeah, they make a cash register noise every time they come up as well. So there was a dinosaur we forgot to say hello to in Pterodactyl Lens, and I only remembered this as I was destroying the boulder. Um, his name is Dippy, the dinosaur, and he needs water, he's very thirsty, and this is how we get the water to him. This is how we do it. Dippy, it seems like he's gonna be drippy. Oh. So yeah, a, a surprising amount of stuff can be solved by just dropping things from... So it would just come from the sky. Yeah. Odd shaped gold tooth. Wait, you got a gold tooth that looked like a jigsaw piece? That must have been uncomfortable. I, that, that's awful. That's terrible. Drained the water like that. Mm hmm. Yeah. How dare you? So, this cavern thing, um, on top of those enemies being really fucking annoying because they just come out of nowhere. They attack really fast, too. And they attack like... really quickly, yes. Um, this is kind of a big maze area, and also what? Dragon Kazoo can breathe fire. Um, <laughs> just let's touch, let's go back to that real fast. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Eggs. They, oh. they still happen. Yes, eggs still happen. That just is in place of the standing attack that you do, where Kazooie just kind of comes out and pecks. 
Okay, so so now Kazooie just breathes fucking fire. Okay, good. Yeah. Um. Because she's dragon. Why didn't we do this earlier? Because I wanted to wait till the end. Okay. It's a super stash deluxe four digit infinite combination reinforced strong box. I was wondering one of those. Because we rightly points out, four digits only gives you 10,000 combinations. Hey, down in front! <laughs> nobody Thanks likes. For moving. Excuse me, nobody likes a man who just comes around along and just waves his sausage around. That's <laughs> oh really inappropriate. Take your sausage somewhere else. If you can find a combination. I will gladly open up. So the combination is the same. Ah, I'm trying to show off that. <laughs> we got. Whoa. We got that from <laughs> from the stop and swap eggs, and you, because Banjo just pulls Kazooie out and slams her on the ground. Jesus it's, Christ! It's great. I'm not sure whether to be okay with that or horrified. be horrified. Yeah. So there's a Globo in the pool. Just slam Kazoo on the ground. Gritil just looks at you like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no matter if it was, I knew it was that easy, I mean. So the way you find the combination for Super Stash, there are these buttons all scattered all over the level that you gotta I'm press. I'm just letting you know right now, okay? Eggs. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this. If it's one, two, three, four, I'm done. It's not one, two, three, four. Okay. It oh no. Oh, oh it's no. George Ice Cube. What happened, oh. George? Not like we didn't already know. That story sounds familiar for some reason. Why not stay up here? Lovely view. They're trying to convince him not to go back. Because they know what they did. If you could just give me a little push. Well, I, I don't see what could possibly go wrong. So let's go ahead. Bye, George. Bye. Oh, dear. Finally, my revenge on the ice cubes is complete. I just want to remind you that you're a fucking murderer. Those ice cubes gave me such shit in Banjo Kazooie. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you're a murderer. They deserve. They had it coming. If they didn't want it to happen, they should have left me alone. But no. So I'm sorry. No remorse. Please, no more sausages. Do you like sausages? Uh, I think they're uh, dust first. Yeah. The bratwurst. Exactly. Yeah. We're making jokes here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're, they're, those those were jokes. Those sure were jokes that we just made. Just remember, you're subscribed to us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just you made the decision. Your hand was not forced. What is that? Um, I think it's a rare Floatus Floatium creature. If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. So suddenly fucking Jamjaws is an expert in rare creatures? I... Okay. Sure. I'm... Well, yeah, didn't you know that Jamjaws is... has a PhD in... Cryptozoology. So he's, so is he, he's Doctor Jamjaws. Yes. Wow. I guess guess you should treat him with more respect. I never knew. Mm hmm. Hmm. Seems like that's going to be maybe some kind of date. Nineteen ninety-eight. Something. 
You would think it would be 98, but no. It's the founding of Rare, isn't it? Um, you're close. You're very close. Founding of Microsoft. 98 would have been pretty good, because I think that's when Banjo Kazooie came out. Yeah. That's why I said 98. Yeah, mm. It would have been good. That would have been good, but uh, it's why? A, little bit better, a little bit better than that. Well, listen, here's what I want to know. Mm hmm. Um, small question. Yeah. Where are they getting paper thin sausages, daisies, and candy canes? This is Cloud Cuckoo Land. There are no rules. <clears throat> oh. Anything goes. Okay. I guess that's fair to say. The Black Ginger family is complete. They'd like you to have this. Jiggy. Sweet. We did it, Dex. There's only a few more jiggies we gotta get in this world, and then we will have completed every single Jinjo family. We'll be the hin the hero of the Jinjos. I don't want to be the hero. Can I just be the guy instead? I don't know. Nobody wants to be the guy. Is that another creature we're gonna hatch? Yeah, they're all the same. Yeah. Jam Jars isn't gonna come out and say anything? Okay. No, oh, well, he, he already did his bit. He was already like, yeah, look, I'm the expert on these things, and that's. You only gotta say it once. Well, I mean, what if he isn't an expert on these things? What, a, what if he's just bullshitting? <laughs> <laughs> what? If... Oh god, I've only got one pit of health left. It's not good. To be honest, that does sound like a bullshit response. Floatius floatium creature or some Floatus whatever he's floatium. Yeah, that does kind of sound like bullshit. Wrong because Zooey doesn't changers. know any better. She's just like, oh, okay, oh, sounds right. I mean, what else are you gonna say? I mean, it's Jam Jars. He's the one who teaches you things. Yeah, that's true. So it makes sense because he is a teacher. <laughs> Teachers are sometimes knowledgeable. I'm not strong enough, Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Please don't go to the trash. We are going to the we're going to the bin. The, oh god. the rubbish the rubbish bin. The trash can. Banjo because we nuts and bolts just laying off the top. What? 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 This one I never mind. Anyway, there's a honeycomb, empty honeycomb right there. And also I'm I'm warning this zubber, I'm like, don't you fucking come near me. I'll mess you up. I'll murk you in it, mate. So you've got to go round back because there's a little place you can put a clockwork kazooie. Hmm. 1994? Hmm. 1984? Hmm. I don't know. We're going to find out later. Right now, though, we're going to go inside the bin. Believe it or not, this is not actually the smelliest location in this level. It's true. What's this though? <laughs> ah, where did Tooty go? Does anyone know where Tooty went? No one knows. Meanwhile, inside of Gruntilda's hideout, Tooty is already gone. I think I said this before, I like to believe that Tooty just went off on like a and an adventure to find herself. Soul searching trip around the world, maybe. By the health and hygiene department, unless I clean mm. the place up. Shall I tell you? I got confused here because he asks two questions. Usually you just get the will you play the minigame question because this is a minigame and you have to say yes. But this time he's like, do you want to do. He, do you want me to tell you? And I was like, oh, yes. And I was like, wait, no, I don't. Oh, never mind. Anyway, kill 60 points worth of germs in 60 seconds. Or is it 50 points worth? It's 50 points worth, I think. So it's actually a pretty tough regame game because you just, you, you can only really use a wing whack and that's, that's kind of it. And these guys don't come up for very long, so you just have to kind of keep, keep going, keep using the wing whack. I only just win this game. Something tells me that's not Pretty a tough. Jinjo, by the way. It's, yeah, it's not Jinjo. Whistle really all persistent. he wants. I'm not, I'm not listening. 
You'll fool me. We won't be fooled again. It's a great song by the Who. It's one of the only good Who songs. You say that back. Nope. What about Pinball Wizard? There has to be a twist. Bob, Bob O'Reilly? That's the only other song I like is Pinball Wizard. <laughs> Don't like Bob O'Reilly. What's wrong with you? Nope. What's wrong with you? But we get to keep it jig jiggy, though. Yes, we almost. get to keep the jiggy. I almost said Jinjo. They're very similar sounding. It's okay. And for some reason, I did not go up to left there, where there are quite clearly two bits of energy that I could get, but no. I ignored them for some reason. I think it's because it just really smelled. Maybe, yeah. Hey. Right, let's go. Oh god, Kazooie! Kazooie, what's wrong? Kazooie? You okay? <laughs> oh god, Kazooie! <laughs> Kazooie needs a neck brace now, I believe. <laughs> At least she needs an everything brace. She seems Was that okay. just her normal, like, her uh, default posture just sped up like a hundred percent? I think, yes. My theory behind that is that they just, it, like, this is the end of the production of the game. They couldn't figure out how to fix the bug where it, like, speeds up everything, so they just went fuck it and just left it how it was. Banjo Tooie. Yeah, because I, th I think the exact same thing happens in the um, N64 version as well. So it's not like it's a new bug that was uh, introduced from porting it. Because I think that's all the music. There's some music bugs like the thing before where all the music sped up, and that's new for the port version. And also the synchronization problem with the music at the very, very beginning of the game. Really, not gonna say anything here. Just. Yeah, you put the bug in your backpack, and then you can float. Yep. That was a great noise. Yeah, it makes a little pop sound every time you're done. Also, something I discovered when I played this: <laughs> when you're in the pa when you're in the pack, as Shack Pack, it has a little idle animation that's just amazing. God damn it! It's great. Anyway, Sack Pack. That's the only move we'll be getting, and that is actually the final move of the game. It's the wow. only move we'll be learning. What is it, you? Yeah, we're going to find out. Later on. Actually, no, we won't. We'll find out really soon what it is. Hey, let's, uh... It's very useful. It's very useful? Yeah. See those thorns? Mm -hmm. We're not going that way. We're going this way okay. first. I forgot. God, that's so high up. It's okay though, he landed on the jelly. Always land on the it's jelly. It's the jelly castle! Oh, that was almost a disaster. <laughs> oh boy. Stay away from me, Zubba. I will mess you up. Don't even test me. Okay, it looks like he's, he, he's he got perfectly a message. fine. He got the message. It's not filled with jelly, what? It's yeah, just, just kind of hollow somehow. It's made Maybe that's jelly. where the zumbers are living. I, may, mm, I think there's somewhere else they're living, honestly. I feel like they maybe have some kind of hive. That's kind of where bees live. They don't live inside alive. of jelly. And that's the sack pack. Dear God, it's just a potato sack. Yeah. So the reason there was a fade is because that Zubba, I was in this pack, the Zubba came along and just knocked me off the level. <laughs> and I died. That motherfucker. Yeah. I hate that guy. <laughs> so annoying. Well, just uh, sit tight and look at Banjo's yeah. rear end. Yep. <laughs> No! Everything wants to kill you. Uh, just a reminder, you just punched his face off. Yes. And and his petals as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. You whacked his face off. Mm. Well done, Banjo. You're a murderer. Well done, Banjo. 
Okay, so we just really very carefully. <laughs> Never mind then. This is a great. This I've is a great level. Oh uh, yeah, I've never really been able to figure out the proper way of getting down from there as Banjo, but there you go. Maybe there isn't one. It has to be a hidden secret that even the speedrunners don't know of. No, I'm pretty sure the speedrunners have fucking figured it out. Speedrunners are just like, within two days of the game's fucking release, just like, oh, all the secrets are... <laughs> all the secrets are secret. And only we, the speedrunners, are allowed to know. Yeah. The only game that I have ever seen the secrets last longer than a, a week. Yeah. In recent memory was yeah. uh, Halo 3. Really? I think. Yeah. Oh, the skulls and stuff. The skull. Remember, there was one skull that required you to jump through the Halo rings in the. Uh, there was a huge holographic projection That's of all the right. rings, and you had to jump through them in a specific order. And nobody knew what the order was, and it, that was a secret for, yeah, a really long time. I remember, I totally forgot about that. It was a secret for like a week and a half, mm. and then people figured it out. Yeah. It's quite a long time though. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason we hatched the, the Flotus guys, so we could taxi pack float across and plant the seeds but the seeds oh, okay. seeds aren't very useful on their own seeds need some kind of some kind of thing to make them grow some kind of water hmm. Hmm. coming back here to to the bin you come back here separately as both Banjo and Kazooie but never together that's sad yeah. <laughs> Jolly's juice. I was saying to my, I was saying in my head, I swear to God, if that's a fucking Minjo. What well, I wouldn't have come in here if it was. If only someone. Could... What do you think that was? Did you forget? <laughs> we were just here. We just did it. We just. We were just. He just has more germs. <laughs> Well, you can saw it out. I'm only doing it once. Look, I got the jiggy, so I have absolutely no reason to help him out again. Look, I don't care about your problems. You don't have any jingos. Jingo, jingos for me. <laughs> jingos. Jingo jangos. Jingo jango mumbo jumbo. Ow. I don't know why the daisies would hurt you. I hate these guys so much. They are so annoying. I see. Like, if I could give them a voice, it would be Chabs. Absolutely. Whew, I don't know why I held in the laugh there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Are we joining back up? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> Do we have to use some egg fertilizer? For what? Never mind. Yeah, we'll go to Bumbo Skull. Yay! Ginger family! 78, we're getting close. Oh, he was taking a little nap. Yeah. Let's get a tire in. Just sitting around all day waiting for Banjo to show up. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh, surprises. Surprises are good. Surprises are excellent. No! Oh! Oh god! Oh! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! It's Minji Jin! It's Minji Mingi Jojo! It's Mingi Jongo! Mingi Jongo! Mingi Jongo! Mingi Jongo. Mingi Jongo, which is also the name of a Twitter account made by some of the Banjo 2E developers when they were talking about making a spiritual successor. It never came to light, sadly. Maybe they're still working on it. Maybe. I don't know. There hasn't been any activity on the account for a really long time. It's 
So this is actually pretty tough. This is a really good boss fight, but it's also very tough. Dex, look, I have a, I have something. I have a huge surprise for you. What's that? You have a surprise? I love surprises. I Do you like surprises? I love surprises, yeah. Okay, surprises well, I have, the best. I have a huge surprise. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'm not actually Vile Moon. What? I'm not actually Vile Moon. What? I'm actually Silas Dune. No! Oh no! I'm how? basically the same. How could you? How how could you have done this? What did you do with my friend? Where's he gone? Still sleeping. Oh, that's fine. Like usual. Like I guess if he's not hurt in any way, then I have no reason to be concerned. No, he's just sleeping. Okay. Let's be honest. When is he not sleeping? Yeah. Let's be let's be totally honest. Like. Late to all of the streams. Yeah, every single stream. I like so, how you're knocking off all of his skin. Yeah, this gets really tough, as you can see by the fact that I only have one bit of health left. And I just go fuck it, under wing, and just run into him. And I didn't actually know you could beat him like that. I didn't uh, realize that would work, but excuse I guess me, it works. Um, I've just been impaled. As a robot myself. Yeah. Um, I'm now queasy from seeing blood. That's not. Wait. Huh? You're not. Then you're not a robot. You're a cy like a cyborg. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm just a robot. Cyborgs aren't real yet. What? Okay. Then if it's a robot, then it's just oil, not blood? Well, the thing is, yet. is that the oil we use is green. Oh. But it's still oil and not blood. Because it doesn't have carbon. Okay. I get. I guess. I actually completely forget where I'm going now. Uh, oh yes, I know where we're going now. That's we're right. going to play a better game. We have <laughs> bolts. Hey, hey now. This game is fantastic. It's not as fantastic as nuts and bolts. Shut up, you shut your mouth. So that's the way you tell which skull is the real one. The real Mumbo skull has a Minjo. Is it random? Yes. Sometimes the red one will be the right one, and sometimes the blue one will be the real one. Okay. Jeez, he's really persistent. Yep. They all really are. It's really Wait. annoying. Did he just spawn there? Hmm? Did you just spawn In back? the middle there? Yeah. Yeah. That's where oh, it was okay. when we killed him. Oh, god. Please. They're everywhere. So what's Mumbo's job today? Uh, Mumbo's job today is... Exterminate chavs. Please say exterminate yes, chavs. absolutely. See? Good job, Bumbo. That Got was him. certainly worth a Globo. Fucking roasted him. Fucking toasted. If only you could do like an EMP explosion that just killed them all. If only. That Zobo just decided he did not like Mumbo's face. Just came just straight down. Just fly inside of Mumbo's Fuck eye off. socket and just buzz around for a minute. Oh god no. <laughs> Rain dance. So I'm happy to announce I finally figured out where maybe it's just a baby that needs to be loved until it says yes is from. What's it from? I'm it's from the that. Johnny Bravo Donny Osmond Christmas special. Oh wow. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> and it said bye Donny Osmond. Wow. <laughs> that is a great reference and I'm glad we've been using it. <laughs> It's really obscure. <laughs> oh man! So you looked, yeah, so you looked it up and were like, what is it actually from? No, I was watching Johnny Bravo. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. You 
away from me. Give it away. Because I like remembered it was from Johnny Bravo somewhere, and then I watched yeah. the Donny Osmond Christmas special. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And the worst part is, we should have known, it is, sounds exactly like something Donny Osmond would fucking say. <laughs> kind of, yeah. That's really weird, like, nobody, nobody in the comments or in a thread caught it. People caught my Find the Fish reference, but nobody caught the... I don't know, I guess more people have seen the Monty Python's Meaning of Life than they've seen the Johnny Bravo Donny Osmond Christmas special. Who hasn't seen the Johnny well, Osmond? Maybe it's more like less people just remember the Christmas special. How could you forget the Donny Osmond Johnny Bravo Christmas special? I didn't, I didn't remember Jesus it. Fucking I didn't remember it. I have to put my, my hand up here and say I didn't fucking remember, remember it. Oh my god. I knew it had to be from something, but I didn't know exactly what. It had been bugging me for years. Just don't no. want to put that out there. It's been bugging me for okay. years. <laughs> oh wow! One-two combo. That was a complete accident, but yeah, it looks cool as fuck. Pro move. Yeah. But I'm not worried about pro moves right now. I'm worried about beating some fucking anteater in a sack race right now. Yeah, that's what you should be worried about, actually. It's because I think that's. Wait, no, we're not going to do that quite yet. But are we gonna go? Yeah. Hmm? Okay. Whew. Yeah. I was watching that Zabo every with time. The, I am the hawk. Every time. It's always like, is he gonna hit me this time? Really is kind of like a luck thing, because he hits you and that's basically it. You're done. Unless you get lucky. You're done, kiddo. Go home. So I love that eyeball just looking at you. Hmm, yeah, those are gonna come into play a little bit later, because they don't actually try to attack you when you what? get near them. Yeah, they're not, they're not like, harmful to you in any way while you're, like, right up close to them. They're not harmful to the health. No. We're going to go inside the cheese. If there's maggots here, I swear to god. Inside the cheese wedge. This is the only game I know where you would go inside a giant cheese wedge and the game doesn't blink an eye. Doesn't well, we're going inside a giant cheese wedge and it smells so bad that we're losing air. Just want to point yeah. that out real fast. That's, remember when I said the bin wasn't the smelliest area in the game? <laughs> Damn it. it. This is the smelliest area. <laughs> is it bad that I can kind of smell it? Because it's cheese and onions. And I know exactly what that smells like. <laughs> I don't feel too good right now. Dang, we just got 10 more jiggies left to get. And we're done with the whole game. We have all the jiggies in the game once we have 10 more. Wow. We still haven't got the damn jiggy from... Wait. Does the... Wait, the ground is moving. Yeah, the ground's kind of spongy. I guess is I the word sick. for it. Only are on the inside though, not on the outside, which is strange. <laughs> um, we still haven't helped those kids get their cold water. Hmm. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll we'll get to it. Don't worry. We'll eventually help those little kids so they don't yeah. cook and become bacon. Yeah. We're gonna save their bacon. That I didn't realize how high that jump was. I'm on to you. you I also, wanna... I also may have forgotten that Kazooie wasn't with me. So you hit A to try to do the wing flap and just exactly. immediately, damn it. Oh, oh, I felt for sure that that would have worked. That didn't feel like far enough to take damage, but okay. Maybe they patched, quick patched the game while you were playing it. Fuck. Someone's and watching me. Somebody <laughs> who's watching the LP. He's on Cloud Cougar Land right about now. Mm. Okay. Now, we're gonna go beat that 
anti turret sack race. Come on, come on. Yes! I hate those fucking things. Yeah, they're really annoying. So, what do you think of the music in this area? It's alright! Yeah? Is that the special? Does it sound anyway? Look how high we sure are being suspended over a whole lot of nothing. The straps on Banjo's backpack just give out. Oh god, no. Oh. Alright, this is it. Yes, we have a sack. Or a pack. Or a pack bag. Sack. sack pack. Sack pack. So one thing you gotta say about Banjo's backpack is that it's incredibly resilient. It's been stretched and it's used to hit stuff all the time. But it's still intact and pretty good shape too. You beat him. Yep. You it's really pretty easy. Dreams. If um when when you move forward you like kinda hop forward a little bit, and if you jump mid hop it gives you uh, extra height and momentum, so you just use that to like get past him. So what's event number three? <laughs> It is running. There's also this tiny, tiny, tiny little path that you can take to beat him if you don't quite know how to do the the technique. The technique behind the pro banjo sack pack strats. Yeah. Fuck right off. Essential if you really, you know want 100 percent the game. That's actually true. <laughs> When you get right down to it, that's actually true. Damn it. So what happened there, Dex? Just oh, another fall and I couldn't be bothered leaving it in. Okay. So where's that other combination? Um, We'll be getting to it, I think, soonish. The soon last number. Hmm. A bit late that on that one. It's like, eh. Oh no! Gotta go fast, but bullet's too slow. This, that's the last place that you want. That you want the turbo trainers is on really thin platforms because controlling Kazooie on her own is sometimes quite difficult. But she has the turbo oh trainers. Yes. Oh god, it's the gold medal though. Yep, this is it. This is actually super easy compared to the sack race. You just hold forward and you win. He tries to push you off the edge. Um, excuse me, bag of scales? <laughs> Fuck you, I'm a dragon. The worst part is that... That's actually a reference. <laughs> Fuck a dragon, I'm you. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yes, okay. Why not? Have you not heard that one? No. Okay. Fuck a dragon, I'm you. God yeah. damn it. So in here is where we'll be getting the final combination number. Alright. And it is a little door that goes right up into the rafters, I guess you could call it, of Central Cavern. But there's this fucking zubber, of course, across the really thin platform. Excuse me, I'm on fire now. Because that was their favorite thing when they were making this level. Let's do like really thin platforms, precarious jumps, where there's just this flying guy who can just come at you from any direction and just knock you off. Put it in. Yeah. Put it in. Come full circle once again. Yep. Yeah. Oh god, he's back! Yeah, I just went, oh, fuck it. I'm out. And that was actually the last note nest of the level. Did we have all 900? Nope. We're missing five. Where is the five? We'll find out. 1984! 
I should have remembered that it's real rare date. Because that's when they made Saber Wolf. 1984. Did I say 1985? I meant 1984. 1984 is when they made Saber Wolf. Why so many references to Saber Wolf? Because that's like one of the very first games the co founders made. Okay. Just fuck everyone. Just fuck all you. Get the fuck out of my way. Oi, what are you doing here, mate? That's Cockney. <laughs> that yeah, not... but Chavs are Cockney, aren't they? No. Oh. Look, I'm not in touch Cock with British culture, okay? Cockneys are delightful. I mean, look and, at the daisies. And cheery. And sausage. Because <laughs> they're sausage. You could say it's a sausage fest. Shut up. <laughs> God damn it. Sorry. Not sorry. Oh, cool. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna say anymore, everyone knows exactly what I fucking mean. Yeah, if you saw her, you know what we're talking about. If you didn't see her... We'll get to it soon. Prepare. Prepare yourself. We are gonna jump in the pool though, because okay. you can actually climb up into the rafters of Wombos Wigwam. And there's a Jinjo. And now, oh. about five different sound effects are all going to play over each other. Please. Oh. Oh no. The return of the bee. The bee returns. All coming full circle is a recurring theme. Question. Yeah. Can you actually land this time? Uh, yeah, they did improve the controls over the last time. Either that, or it's just a little bit easier to control on the Xbox version. Oh god, you're stinging your eyeballs. And you also you have a stinger attack that you can use on the ground and in the air now, so... To sting eyeballs. To sting eyeballs. And the eyeballs only attack you when you're in the air. For some reason. I don't know why. This is funny. Oh, he looks so happy when he's falling to his death. Ah, I'm gonna die. Also, one thing I didn't point out, um, but there are basically no warps in this level. There are two. There's one at the level entrance, and there's one inside, right by the split up pads. That's oh, I've it. noticed. Yeah. But it's still like, it's a fairly small level, so I guess you don't really need them. Yeah, it's just, it's, everything's all around a spire. Yeah, it's all around like the central cavern area. It's just knowing your way around it is the trick. So if you don't know your way around it, you can very easily get lost, because it's kind of a maze in there to begin with. And there's a bunch of different doors. The doors are all like, color-coded though, so... That's kind of how you learn what I goes where. Eyeballus plants, though. Eyeballus jiggium. Floatus floatium and eyeballus jiggium. That plant can go fuck itself. <laughs> Just pew pew pew! We're going to the nest now. And now we're going to come up here to where there's a giant target for some reason, so let's shoot it. Alright, yeah. Lots of times. Oh, oh, oh dear. Hold on. Let me come over here a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, now we're good. Now we've got enough distance. And we're, oh. Whoops. Okay. I have a good feeling about this. Oh, there we go. Nice shooting. Now come inside. Where, where's the opening? Yeah, it's kind of difficult to 
find it, but it's just over here. It's the new Zobber's Nest. Slight from Click Clock Wood. Except this one's a lot bigger. Oh my god, it is. Mm. Um, so this one, this mini game, is kind of similar to the Jolly Rogers Lagoon mini game where you turn into the submarine. Oh, okay. Um, even to the point where the projectiles you shoot out ho uh, home in on stuff. So you just end up flying in a circle and just kind of indiscriminately shooting everywhere and gaining points off of things that you can't even see. Until when you hit the pillar. Until you hit the pillar, and then you're like, shit, and you gotta go the other way. I'm tilting my head to the left. Yeah, to the same. right. Whoa. If you're tilting your head to the right at home, don't worry, we're doing the same thing. Don't worry, it'll all be over soon. This is a pretty lenient minigame for the like very last level. They give you quite a long timer and quite a low score to get, so I guess they kinda I guess once you take into account the um minigame you have to do in the bin with the germs. They were kinda like, alright, let's go ease on them. I like how banjo's tilted to the right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We won both first and second prizes, because we are pros. But not third prize! There is no third prize. It's only first and a second prize. What's well, a cheat. Toe page. Good job. Look, I can't be funny 100% of the time. <laughs> That's vile. He's still sleeping. Remember? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Sorry, I keep forgetting. It's okay. Just make sure you remember that my brain IBM. Excuse me, I had bad I will, grammar I will, there. My brain is made of IBM parts. Okay, back we go. Back we go. Alright. Oh. Time for the return of the pain. The so phantom I'm gonna, pain. I'm going to warn everyone now the way I win the this mini game is by cheating. And by cheating, I mean pausing. Because fuck this. What do you mean pausing? Well,. Um, you have to hammer, like, remember when we did the Glitter Goals Mine video and I said you have to press the button like 10 times a second? Mm -hmm. Well, this one's more like you gotta press it like 60 times a second. It's like, imagine how fat humanly possible it is for you to press a button and then times it by about, I don't know, 10,000. And then that's how fast you gotta press the button. So, in order to give my arm a rest, halfway through and not lose because you can't you can't break during this you just gotta keep hammering the button so I just press start go away for five minutes and come back and finish the race oh okay yeah except this one is the shorter one and of course you do have to do it twice there it is hey it's an excuse to show off the pause screen that we haven't seen before So yeah, you do have to do it twice, just like you do the Glitter Gulch Mine one, and um, the the second one, it's a longer one, and I Yay. pause many many more times. Hey, we got a we did get a. Jiggy do. Hooray. Didn't she do something with the paper thing last time that made us not want to touch it? She, 
she had it wedged somewhere, she didn't say where because Kazooie like cut across like saying, oh god no, please stop. <laughs> Yeah. All right, where are we going? We're gonna go give my arm a rest and okay. go do a different mini game. All right. Since that's all we've got left, really, is all the mini games. I love mini games. Yay! This game is perfect for you then. Who who can play the main game when you can have mini games? By the way, my favorite game is Mario Party. Yeah. Mario Party is great. My favorite is the canoe. Who does not? Oh yeah, of course. You've told us all about this before. Because humans can't do the canoe very good. No, but... The, but robots! The robots! We have no palms that can break. Or... Yeah. Or get skin flaked off or whatever. You Every humans. time I make that jump I think I'm gonna fall. It's very see-through. Because it's see-through and also my brain's going, wait, rainbows are made of light, light's not solid! Opaque. He's not a Jinjo. No, because we have collected all of his Jinjos. Every single Jinjo in the game has been collected. Therefore, by process of elimination, he's not a Jinjo. <laughs> Gold eggs. What? It's the fabled pot of gold, because it's the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So his fucking face. <laughs> Just looks like she's going. Don't <laughs> help me. No. <laughs> yes. All right. And then so in order to win the jiggy, we gotta we gotta hit 90, 90 jiggies, and this is how you do it: hold down trigger and spin in a circle until you hit enough. Sounds like some pro strats. This is pretty easy to be honest. It's kind of tricky to hit all 100, but hitting 90 of them is not. That's all. What happens if you hit all 100? Um, I think Grunty says like, Oh, wow, look at you, aren't you great? Something like that, I don't know. <laughs> yes, we must have cheated. We must have cheated. Because mm -hmm. we hit 92. And won the second first prizes in one go. Well, hey, we got a Cheeto page and a chicken. Hmm? No. no, I don't think so. Get lost, Get lost this then. This game is too good for you. This game is too good for me. Yeah. And that's it. That was the last Jiggy in the level. Really? Yep. All we've got left now is that one Cheeto page. And that's, that's all we've got left. Can we just skip it? No. Nope. Oh, all right. We must collect everything. A hundred percent. Everything must be collected. Clockwork moves. I am addicted to collecting, and I have a problem. I have a problem, it's hitting this button 60 times a second, help! <laughs> I don't know if that's actually right, but that's what it fucking feels like. Oh, gonna... slowing down. Uh, okay. Speeding up again. You can see where I start to get tired. It's yeah. The, the mouse physically starts to slow down. Oh god. See, the, the way I... Could tell it was time to take a break because when my arm started to go numb. Usually, um, you can tell your hand's done 
when like your hand starts involuntarily twitching against the button? Yeah, that's what was happening. Just a reminder, this is a game for kids. Yeah. Oh god, she's gaining on you. And like, the last guy who Let's Played this was something awful. He fucking did this in one go. What no pauses. How? Uh, I can't remember your name right now, but you truly are a credit team. How did you do it? I want to know, tell me. He said something like in the LP, something like he developed the perfect technique or something. And I'm like, what was it? Because I'm just hitting the button as fast as possible. Want to know something funny? You hit the button what? so fast you broke the fucking mouse. Yeah, that is pretty funny. He's so having a nice worm sandwich and a tasty pack of millet. Mmm. Millet. How about a third race? No! No! <laughs> See, Canary knows when, how to quit. Mary knows when to quit when she's dead. Okay. Yep. There we go. We only need one more Cheeto page and we get the last cheat. Mm-hmm. We've got all the Cheeto pages in this level. Alright, so let's get the hell out. We are going. Don't worry. Do you like the sound effect that the jelly makes when you land on it? Boom. Oh, yes, I remember now. Um, I forgot there's a uh, there's a honeycomb back over this way. Oh, okay. Completely forgot about it while we were actually, you know, over here before. Oops. It's just around the back of... The pot of gold. Oh, cheeky breaky. There you go. We now have enough honeycomb pieces to get the very last section of health. <laughs> and then we'll have so much health that we won't even know what to do with it. No. We'll just be giving it away. <laughs> we made that joke once before. Go full circle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making all the jokes again. Mm -hmm. Part nine. We forgot jokes. How do jokes work, please? Someone help. Comment your favorite joke. Wait, what? Yeah, we're back here. Yeah, back in Pterodactyl Land for the final Cheeto page. Cheeto page has just been kind of hanging out over here. <laughs> Unable to obtain it because it's. Just like hanging in midair, and the only way to get it is by filling this full of water. Oh. Although there is probably actually another way to get it, but hey. You could probably use the springy step shoes as Kazooie, and um, once you fun. get up there, leg spring to, mm -hmm. get, to get it. But that's how I get it. I hate to correct you, Dex, said someone mm. in the thread. Yeah, but... I can hear it already. I'll just start preemptively correcting myself now. <laughs> just just don't listen to anything I say. Everything I say is wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, God. All right. It's time. Once again. For Lava Peak? It's finally time to let the kids swim in the pool. It's finally that time. Oh god. Oh, H2O! Yeah! I love this. Take this gold piece, we stole off this smelly, bony lady in a big point. <laughs> Piggles is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Fucking Piggles. Piggles stole a Jiggy from, from Grunty. Them. Respect, my man. Respect. Mad props. Yep. 
Absolutely. So somebody posted, I got I just gotta post uh talk about this real fast while we yeah. have some time. Somebody posted both of the uh themes together from both sides of Hailfire Peaks, and they have they have to be able to like they had to have been made to play together. Really? Yeah, they sound but I've not actually listened to that. I I have seen it before. Before the thread even and I've never actually listened to it. It's so I'll amazing. Have to listen to it afterwards. It's pretty amazing, Dex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, this is it. This the last been, jiggy. This jiggy's been taunting us for quite a while. We but first, we're walking on water. We saw it first in the fifth part, and now, now here we are, finally getting it. Oh yeah. That's it. All 90 jiggies. So there's uh, usually when you get oh this also demonstration of the amazing dead zones on the Xbox 360 controller. There we go. Um, usually there's a little thing where Jamdross says, "Hey, you've got all the jiggies. Now there is something special has unlocked in the menu." But of course, I'd already done it, so um, we didn't see it. What was the special thing? Uh, it's something that we will eventually show off. Oh, okay. Yeah. But for now... Mm -hmm. We're gonna leave... Grunty Industries. Mm -hmm. I don't care what how, how many people say it. The Delta level was great. And here are the final five notes. They were in Witchy World. And they were just hanging out there. Next to near the level entrance. I don't know how I missed them. But you did. didn't realize I missed them until this episode. And uh, yeah, so there you go. How'd you how'd you process of elimination this? Oh, you, I just went into the view totals screen oh, yeah, on the pause menu, and we're like, oh, I, they were in which you old. Forgot you could do that. Mm -hmm. For a minute there, I thought you had to go back and just look at every single level. I did go, like, all over Witchy World, <laughs> looking for them. <laughs> and then they were just, like, there, next to the level entrance. And you're just like... <sighs> yeah. So that's it. That's, that's all the energy we can get. <laughs> and all we gotta and do is get this Cheeto page, and then we're on. Final cheat. Jukebox. Mm -hmm. There is a jukebox in the game. What? And he says, like, right oh, as yeah. you get, like, given the last five pages from the game, he's like, if you find any more, I'm, I'm like, I hate to break it to you, but that's, like, every every page in the game. There aren't any more. Sorry to break it to you there, Cheeto old buddy, but... <coughs> no. <coughs> so we've actually got two cheats to put in this time. <coughs> the, uh... The jukebox. <coughs> and homing eggs. And the homing. <coughs> the jukebox cheat will activate. And that's a ghost cat. See the ghost cat? Ghost cat. It's like ghost, ghost dad, but a cat. Mm. Yeah. Fund it. You have to, if we fund it, X. Yeah. It has to be voiced by Bill Cosby still. <laughs> God. I don't think I could actually take that. It's like, it's it's like that Garfield movie. It's 5, 12. Or we ha oh god, there's still so many. There's, there's a few cheats left somewhere. Let's get to those eventually. Anyway, there's a jukebox. And a jukebox, once you've activated it, it's a sound test. Oh, okay. It's a sound test for Banjo Tui, which is obviously this is where people came to record the music 
and I played this song because it's funny to see Jolly dance to it. It's, like, it's not really a song you dance to, but he's, he's giving it a good go. Alright then. Mm. And... Seeing as, you know, we're going to be finishing the game very soon. Let's, let's finish it how we started. With Kazooie and not Dragon Kazooie. Yeah. Good plan. Mm-hmm. I was sick of seeing that Dragon's dumb face. Aww. A lot of people really like Dragon Kazooie. But I guess you're not one of those people. No. Her face mm. looks just uncal- And it's like- I want to say Uncanny Valley, but it's, it's not, not Uncanny Valley how can at it? all. <laughs> Dragons aren't real, so that doesn't that can't happen. It's just it looks it looks wrong. The Uncanny Dragon Valley. So I just want to point this out. I know this. I know it has nothing to do with you, and has nothing to do with this LTP. But right. related videos, such Minecraft, very mod, so Doge by Captain Please. Sparkles. Okay. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. Why is this a thing? I don't know. Fuck. Alright. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Well, yeah. uh... That's it, we're almost done. Yep. We got one more part left? Mm, two. Two? Okay. Maybe. Two, maybe. I haven't decided yet whether to put the next two bits together into one video or well you know what they say dex mm. shave and a haircut two bits all right remember to pre-purchase our dvd and you can boost to level <laughs> 90 instantly <laughs> thank you for watching uh, <laughs> see you next time bye